The Reserve Bank has warned that almost 3% of Australian home loans are in negative equity. That means the house is worth less now than when it was bought. As house prices continue to slide, some economists are concerned that this problem is going to get worse. Now there's an intense debate about how great the flow-on effect could be for the entire economy, as Michael Vincent reports. This is Little Bay, 14 kilometres from Sydney's CBD. There are many people here whose homes and investment properties are now worth less than they owe on their mortgage. My son bought a property just down there um, a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, no, they're, they're I mean, they're OK. They're expecting their first child, so we'll see how that goes, you know, with the mortgage and all that, you know, you do worry. It's called negative equity, and for recent home buyers, it can be frightening. Do you feel for people who are in negative equity? Uh, yeah, I guess I do. And if they need to move um, in the next couple of years, it's going to be hard. If your property is now worth less than the mortgage that you've got and you sell the property, you've still owe the bank. And that doesn't go away. Buying a house to live in should be viewed as a 10 to 15 to 20 year proposition. You buy a house and if the price goes up or down in the first year or two that you own it, it shouldn't matter. This area has been identified as a real estate market affected by negative equity. It has all the conditions, an oversupply of new apartments aimed at investors who no longer want to buy them, and house prices that have come off record highs. New data from Digital Finance Analytics has revealed there are 3,900 households in this postcode where the owner has a mortgage higher than the property's current valuation. It's a predicament being felt around the country. Andrew Panisi has been selling houses in the Carlton and Essendon areas of Melbourne since 1988. In recent months, he's seen neighbourhood prices take a dip and some of his clients are feeling the pinch. It's heartbreaking. I mean, I think people invest because they want to improve their life. They, it doesn't really cross their mind that they're investing and, and losing money. There's certainly some people that have stretched themselves a little too far that are obviously have concerns because they, they potentially could end up in a situation where they have negative equity. Certainly have sold properties in the last 12 months where We've had clients that have sold for less than what they, what they paid. I think if you ask most households, they will say house prices can only go up. And of course, for the last few years, that's been true. But unfortunately, things are now looking rather different. Analyst Martin North runs his own housing data firm and warned about the property downturn before the slide began. He says if a home buyer loses their job or has another life shock, such as a death in the family or a divorce, that's when negative equity can really bite. That becomes a massive debt burden. Yeah, and those prices have dropped considerably. His own research found there are thousands of houses in Sydney, Melbourne and Perth that are worth less than what the buyer paid for them. While the Reserve Bank's data doesn't match Martin North's pessimistic findings, it does show a stark national divide. 15% of loans to own occupiers and investors in WA and the Northern Territory are in negative equity. In Queensland, driven by drops in regional areas, it's almost 5%. But in New South Wales, Victoria and Tasmania, negative equity accounts for less than 2%. The critical thing for any homeowner is whether they have a job. If you've got a reliable job, job security, and even if you're getting a modest 2-2.5% two, two pay rise each year, you're going to be fine. Economist Stephen Kokoulis has a much more optimistic view of the housing market. If you look at some of the bad debts or loan arrears, that is people falling behind in their repayments, they're actually tracking near record lows. Stephen Kokoulis argues that with 600,000 more migrants expected to arrive over the next two years, there will be plenty of demand for homes. He also believes that with the banks raising the bar on home loan applications, there will be fewer bad loans in the future. You've got to clear more hurdles in terms of proof of income 
and importantly proof of expenditure to confirm that you're going to be a viable customer. Both Martin North and Stephen Kakoulis believe any downturn in the economy will force house prices lower. There is a risk that we do see a hard landing and this fall in house prices feeds into concerns about the economy. We are seeing negative equity now based on local conditions here. If in fact we got a international impact as well coming in, for example, the US or China or Brexit, that could actually drive prices further south and that would actually make negative equity even worse in Australia. Thank you.